Hey gang, it's Will from Tested. I'm here at SCA 2015 at the Alpha Dimenshi booth, and I'm here with Adam, who's going to walk us through the machine. Um, we last saw this two or three years ago in Portland, um, and a lot has changed. So for people who aren't familiar with your machine, we should talk about what, what's happening when you're making coffee. It's a, it's a little bit different from anything. There's a, a lot of things that happen that are kind of similar to a siphon, similar to an immersion brew. Can you, uh, you know, let me know what's special and, and why this is special? Yeah, so it's basically a semi-automated full immersion brewer. So we have a new Android control tablet, so all your recipe creation is very quick on a you know nice capacitive touch screen. Uh, we've opened up a lot of the brew process. You can adjust all of the agitations, how strong they are, how long they are, when they start, and you can move those across. So you've got a lot of flexibility in your brewing options. You can adjust time, temperature, volume, how much steam, how strong steam is. So. We also incorporated kind of a sprayer head as well. Mm -hmm. So what that does is instead of uh, pushing up from the bottom like a traditional siphon and having to stir, you can now do a bloom or a pre-infusion by just pushing up a small amount of the water, it'll shower down, and you can do however long of a pre-infusion because it's very programmable. So you can do a 20, 30 second infusion, then you can introduce the rest of the water. Throughout the process, you can add steam agitations to kind of really open up the coffee. Stir it up and break up the crust. Exactly, so you can get the coffee to drop as well, so then that way you're filtering through the coffee itself, which is its own best filter for, that we know. So. Okay, so for as for the brewing process, when you start by loading coffee in the top, mm -hmm. and then and then let's walk through the whole process one one step at a time from there. Yeah, so initially this part's already been done here. Uh, it actually doses the water, so you come in a little low, and then heats the water all the way up to the desired brew temp. Since we come in low and heat up. It makes it so you can do different temperatures on every single crucible. So you can have entirely four different recipes, four different temperatures that you're brewing all in one machine. So, and then you introduce the coffee, and then it'll use steam at uh, desired pulse amounts. So you can do strong, weak, and it's all based on tenths of a second to introduce a small amount of water for a pre infusion. If you'd like, you can still do all at once. And so, on uh, most of the recipes with these guys doing really fine, you know, good light rice coffees and stuff, which it really highlights. Um, you do a small infusion like you just saw there, and then he's introducing more of the water as a full immersion. And then throughout the process, he's gonna keep adding more steam and it'll see it uh, pulse and break up the floating coffee here and get the coffee to fall and make a nice bed that by the time the immersion's all done at the end of the recipe, it'll uh, open up the actuator here so that you don't have to be pulling on anything. Actuator's gonna open automatically and allow the coffee to pull down through a nice, very fine filter so you get a great full-bodied brew but uh, very clean and clear. So it makes for a, its uh, own unique process for sure now at this point. So the steam is pushing, the steam is introduced into the lower chamber yes. and then forces the water up the glass tube into the top. That is correct. And then uh, at the end, you've pushed all the air out of the bottom chamber and that uh, steam gas that has filled up the bottom chamber condenses into a few drops of water and that creates a natural vacuum and that's how you get this to pull down through to the bottom. Because, which is a challenge because the filter is very fine and oh, it yeah. would just drip through slowly naturally. Oh yeah, of course. And it'll go, with our filters, that's the idea is we wanted to see how fine we can get it and still have a full immersion brew. So you need that process. And there's definitely a unique flavor involved with manipulating a natural process by using steam as opposed to a pump or something like that. And you know, those are options for other things as well, but it does make for a very unique cup of coffee. A full body, but still kind of very clean, unlike a lot of siphons. Exactly, and you'll see, you know, right here, this is, you know, full immersion like you'd get even in a French press. And we have different filter options too. So we have some with more open holes if you want more body and more cellulose and a little more meat to your cup and uh, down to a clear. And you can add paper as well if you want a really fine, clean, astringent cup as well. No no oils, no, no grit. Exactly. You want to get out the oils, you can. If you want to keep them in there and keep that oiliness and all the sweetness, you can do that as well. So we make a lot of options for people to be able to manipulate their coffee to really taste the way they want it to. And uh, so your machines are now in, I think, what, all across the United States and yes. spreading around the world right now, so if people want to find them, is yeah. there a good place for them to find out where? Um, yeah, you can look on our website. We have some directions to some of the ones that we're doing our best to keep up with updating, so they're selling rapidly now. And uh, yeah, we're all over um, Eastern Asia, uh, Japan, we got some in, I got a handful in New Zealand, Australia, and all across the United States and uh, now in Canada as well. And uh, we're opening up here very soon. It'll start spreading through uh, Western Europe. And uh, so we'll be getting around the world here very shortly. I, I, one of the things that's interesting to note is it's not just for coffee. I know that now at Samovar in San Francisco, they're using your machine to make tea. Yeah, and we have a couple other shops 
I don't know if it was intentional, but this is actually almost exactly where you're going to see. If you go to Samovar in San Francisco, uh, he's got a line of mods all the way down. And what's nice for that is uh, in a you know fast-paced setting, he can have dedicated crucibles to one type of uh, tea. He gets dosing done like this, gets everything ready, dump it in, press go, and he's got the recipe all ready and uh, you know, every different tea that he has down the line. And so it brews loose leaf tea very well. And uh, what's great, especially with tea in a traditional sense, you have to either use a small pot, get a timer going, and you have several going with timers to make sure you pull them out so you don't oversteep, or you give it to your customer and you rely on them to take it out at the right time. What's great about this is, especially if you have a really high quality, good tea product, you want it served right every time. And you can have a consistent recipe. It's not going to oversteep. It's going to get out all the flavors you want. You can manipulate it to taste great. And what's great, it's going to be the same experience every time. It's not going to accidentally walk away and have a customer confused why they took their tea bag out too late or something like that and have an oversteeped, astringent cup of tea. So it's nice. You can keep all the sweetness and everything and all the real fine you know, teas. So it's nice for that. Fantastic, thank you so much, Adam. Uh, we'll have more from SCA 2015 on Tested. See you guys soon. Bye.